Okay, good morning, Urban Friends. This is Justin. I am a top notcher for both the real estate broker and appraiser exams. Together with Sir Raul, I am uh, helping also the, the batch be as prepared as possible for the exams. What I'm to share to you today is a simple calculator technique so that you don't need to memorize um, some of the conversions, for example, between meters, square feet, um, miles, and kilometers. Now, for the real estate broker's exam, uh, calculations isn't really that much of a big part. It's really the appraiser's exam that is more math intensive. But of course, it does pay to be prepared. In the comment section below, you will find a link that I've posted leading to, a, to the PRC website that lists the calculators that you can use during the exams. These are basically non-programmable calculators. But uh, if you, you are still to buy a new calculator, I'd suggest that you get a scientific calculator that has a convert function. So one of those calculators is what I have here. This is what I've used during the broker's and appraiser's exam. And the nice thing about this is that it has this convert uh, function over here. And that is basically the function that allows you to convert uh, be between such uh, figures as meters and feet on the fly. And that is really useful to have during the exams. Okay then, um, so assuming you already have your calculator, we'll just go through some of the possible conversions and you know, this is just really a walkthrough of how you can use your um, conversion function in the calculator. So I have this uh, particular calculator, Casio model FX570MS SVPAM. Okay then, so what if for example I want to convert meters into feet, so we turn on the calculator. And first thing I do is I input the figure that I'd want to convert. In this case, it's one. And I like to convert it to, um, to feet. So I first activate this convert function over here. Since it's highlighted in yellow, that means that I need to press the shift function over here. So shift and then convert. Appearing on the screen is CONV followed by two spaces. The two spaces correspond to the code um, for the conversion that you'd like to achieve. To get to that code, you have your calculator cover that should show the a table basically of an, an, an index of the conversions that you can go through. You have here from 0, 1 all the way to 40. You can convert between distances, area, weight, even temperature you can convert. For our case, we'd like to convert between meters and feet. As you can see, that's number four. So that's the code that I'll be using from meters to feet. And you have your convert, and then I just press zero, four, zero, four. And the screen autom automatically updates one meter to feet. And I just press equal sign. And you have one meter is convert, converts to 3.28 feet. So I list that down here. Now that, that figure that they've inputted in the calculator could be any. It could be 1, it could be 7.8, it could be 3.5. So let's try that again with 3.5. So I input first 3.5 and then use the convert function, shift, and then this button right here to activate the convert function. We know that the code is 0, 4 to get from meters to feet. So that's what I input here, 0, 4. And there you go, 3.5. 5 meters to feet, then press equals 11.48. So that is 11.48. Now what if I want to get that same figure or same starting point from 3.5 meters into yards? So I, I look again at the table. So meters to yards, I know that is code 06. So I follow the similar operation, the calculator, 3.5. Yeah, and then activate the convert function. We know that it should be using code 0606. Zero, six. Then enter. So 3.5 meters is equal to 3.83 yards. All right. Now, what if I'd like to convert one acre into square meters? Again, I check the table in here. We see it's at number 11, so try that, 1, and then convert, input code 11, and then enter. 
So one acre is equal to 4.05 square meters. Now what if I want to convert area? You have your one square meter into how many square feet? But if I look at my table, we cannot find that particular conversion. What do I do then? Well, we do know that one meter is equal to 3.28 feet. So I just square both sides. So one meter is equal to 3.28 feet. And I just square both sides. So I can reach the area conversion. So the square of one meter is just basically one square meter. And then the square of 3.28 feet so 3.28 feet, so I use my calculator again, 3.28 times 3.28 to get the square, 10.76. So 1 square meter is equal to 10.76 square feet. All right. Now the thing is, during, during your exams, some of the proctors ask you to deposit your calculator cover. So all of a sudden, you're left with just your calculator and without any index in which you can refer for your conversions. So what if, for example, in the exams, there's a conversion that they need to do between yards and meters. I'd like to find out how many meters are there in one yard. But I have no, no table to refer to so that I can use it as a, as a reference for my code. Well, what you can do is you can still check by rounding up through all of the codes. So let's try that. So shift, convert, 0, 1. That's from inches to centimeters. That's not what we, we want. Shift, convert again, 0, 2. No, it's not that. Is it 0, 3? No, it's not. 0, 4. Still not that. How about zero five? Yards to meters. Yeah, that's what we want. Yeah, yards to meters. Okay. So we know that the code that we need is zero five. So we in input one one yard. Again, activate the convert function. Input code zero five. One yard is to how many meters? Press equals. Point nine one four four. Okay. So that is point nine one meters. Okay, uh, so that's a simple demonstration. I hope uh, it helps you and it's easy to understand. Um, if you have any questions, just feel free to ask them. And if you have any other tips or techniques also that can help the rest of the branch, feel free to share. Thanks.